Welcome to one of the most fascinating journeys into the unknown, an exploration of the 11 dimensions of reality and how the human mind might be connected to them. Today, we will dive deep into the world of theoretical physics, exploring how our universe may contain far more than what we can see, touch, or experience. But it doesn't stop there. Recent discoveries in neuroscience suggest that our brains might be capable of understanding and processing higher dimensions. Could this be the key to unlocking our full potential? First, let's start with the basics. What exactly is a dimension? A dimension is simply a direction in which you can move. For example, imagine you are a point on a line. This is the first dimension. Now, if we add a second direction, you're on a plane, like a piece of paper. Add a third direction, dot depth, and you are in the three-dimensional world you live in. These first three dimensions are the ones we experience daily, but there's much more to explore. Let's break down all 11 dimensions step by step. The first dimension. In the first dimension, we have only length, a single line that stretches infinitely in both directions. Think of it as a ruler with no width or depth, just a straight path from one point to another. And then the second dimension, which adds width to the line, creating a flat surface. Here, you can move forward, backward, left, or right. Imagine a square on a piece of paper. Everything exists on a flat plane. Then we have the third dimension, the world as we know it. By adding depth, we experience objects in three dimensions, length, width, and height. This is where we see cubes, spheres, and all the physical objects around us. Time. The fourth dimension is what connects past, present, and future, giving movement and flow to the three-dimensional space we live in. Time allows us to experience events in sequence. Now things get abstract. In the fifth dimension, we begin to see possible worlds. Imagine a world very similar to ours, but with slight variations, alternate timelines. Every possibility exists simultaneously in the fifth dimension. The sixth dimension. Here, we have all possible worlds that started from the same initial conditions. If the universe began with the Big Bang, the sixth dimension contains every variation of that universe, where every possible outcome exists. The seventh dimension. Beyond time and space, the seventh dimension allows for the possibility of worlds with entirely different starting points and physical laws. It's where physics itself can differ from one reality to another. The Eighth Dimension. This dimension combines all possible worlds with different laws of physics, connecting them into a single framework. Imagine a vast, infinite tapestry that includes all universes and their unique rules. In the Ninth Dimension, we encounter worlds that are beyond our comprehension, where every possible universe with any conceivable laws of physics can exist regardless of consistency with our own. The tenth dimension contains everything, the sum of all possible universes with all their variations and physical laws. It's a point of absolute unity, where everything that can exist does exist. Imagine it as the ultimate framework, where no other possibilities can be added. The eleventh dimension the final frontier. According to M-theory, this dimension is where gravity and the other forces of nature unify. It's the dimension where all vibrating strings and multi-dimensional objects, known as brains, interact. The forces that shape the universe, from electromagnetism to gravity, all come together here. So how do string theory and M-theory link to these 11 dimensions? At the heart of string theory is the idea that the fundamental building blocks of the universe are not particles but tiny vibrating strings. These strings are so small that they appear as point-like particles to us, but they vibrate at different frequencies to create the different particles we observe in nature. But here's where it gets even more fascinating. These strings don't just vibrate in the three dimensions we can see, they vibrate in additional dimensions. Early versions of string theory suggested there were 10 dimensions, but M-theory, developed in the mid-1990s, added a crucial extra dimension, bringing the total to 11. Why is this 11th dimension important? 
It allows for the unification of the five different versions of string theory under one framework, which is why M-theory is sometimes referred to as the mother of all string theories. In M-theory, these 11 dimensions include not only the dimensions of space and time we experience, but also several hidden dimensions that are curled up at incredibly small scales, possibly smaller than an atom. It's in these higher dimensions where the forces of nature gravity, electromagnetism, and the strong and weak nuclear forces may all unify, offering a potential theory of everything. One of the most intriguing aspects of M-theory is that it allows for the existence of multi-dimensional objects called brains. These brains can exist in different numbers of dimensions, and our entire universe could be a three-dimensional brain floating in a higher dimensional space, much like a sheet of paper floating in the air. Other brains and even other universes could exist alongside ours in these higher dimensions. This concept of multiple brains could help explain some of the biggest mysteries in cosmology, such as the nature of dark matter and dark energy or why gravity is so much weaker than the other fundamental forces. Now that we've explored the 11 dimensions, the next question arises. How is the human mind connected to these hidden dimensions? The answer might lie in the complex workings of our brain. Recent discoveries in neuroscience suggest that our brains might be wired to process and even perceive higher dimensions. The Blue Brain Project, led by Swiss scientists, used advanced computational models to map out the structure of the brain. They found that the brain creates geometric structures in up to 11 dimensions while processing information. These structures, called clicks, are clusters of neurons that connect in very specific patterns, resembling higher dimensional shapes. What's fascinating is that these patterns form and collapse as the brain processes information, suggesting that our minds may use higher dimensions to handle complex data. In other words, when you are thinking, solving problems, or even imagining, your brain may be navigating through multiple dimensions at once. What does this mean for consciousness? Some neuroscientists and physicists suggest that our minds may be naturally tuned to higher dimensions. This might explain certain cognitive phenomena that feel beyond the grasp of three-dimensional thinking, such as intuition, creativity, or even experiences we can't fully explain, like deja vu or altered states of consciousness. A theory known as the quantum brain hypothesis posits that our brain could be accessing quantum information and interacting with higher dimensions in ways we don't fully understand yet. Could this be the source of extraordinary cognitive abilities? It's a possibility worth exploring. This research suggests that higher dimensions might not be entirely separate from our daily experience. Instead, they could be woven into the fabric of our consciousness, shaping our thoughts, perceptions, and possibly even influencing our understanding of time and space. Could it be that our brains, through their neural structures, are tapping into these higher dimensional realities without us even realizing it? As we've seen, string theory and M-theory propose that the universe is much more complex than our daily experiences suggest, with additional dimensions that influence the very fabric of reality. Could our consciousness itself be a manifestation of higher dimensional phenomena? Some researchers speculate that our minds might have a unique ability to tap into these extra dimensions, providing a deeper connection between brain activity and the universe. This idea is reinforced by recent studies in quantum cognition, where some researchers suggest that our thought processes may have quantum characteristics. If consciousness can access higher dimensional information, it might explain why human cognition often feels so expansive, why we're able to think abstractly, and why we can experience concepts like infinity, parallel worlds, or even time dilation in our subjective experience. M-theory suggests that interactions between multidimensional brains might cause phenomena such as gravity or even the creation of new universes. Similarly, the brain's interactions with higher dimensional structures might influence thought, memory, and perception. Could dreams or altered states of consciousness be a result of our brain tapping into these hidden dimensions? 
The eleven dimensions are more than just a theoretical construct. They might be a key to understanding both the universe and our own minds. As neuroscience continues to reveal the complex workings of the brain, we may discover that the higher dimensions are not distant and abstract, but intimately connected to our everyday experience. This could lead to a profound new understanding of consciousness, reality, and the very nature of existence itself. Stay tuned as we continue to dive deeper into the mysteries of science and consciousness. Don't forget to like, subscribe, 